Hey, what is up everyone? I'm Jim Labuda, and today we're gonna to take a look at the golf swing of Australian golfer Cameron Davis. Cameron finished tied for six this past weekend in the Players' Championship. Was starting to make a run a little bit towards the end. However, a couple errant swings threw him off, and that's kind of what Cameron's golf game is. He's got one victory in the PGA Tour at the 2021 Rocket Mortgage Classic, but let's face it, these guys only need to be good a couple weeks out of the year, right? They don't have to be consistently good every week. What does Cameron Davis do that will help with his inconsistency? How is he so inconsistent? Let's take a look here. As he sets up to the golf ball, good setup position. The first thing I want to notice is as he starts taking the golf club away, what I want you to see is right in here, and really how he starts opening that club face more than the typical player does today. When he gets to this position here, most of the time, players today are gonna to keep the face angle pretty even or pretty parallel with what their spine angle is. But you can see by all these lines I'm drawing here, he's really opening the face a lot more in his swing. Not a bad position to be in, but that's what's leading to his inconsistency. As he gets to the top of his golf swing, what I want you to notice here, again, face of the club here, toe is pointed down, so he's really opening it up in his swing. This is where a lot of his inconsistency in his golf game comes from. Again, at the top of the swing, most players are going to keep it parallel with their left arm. He's got a very modern swing here where the back swing and the left arm is right through the shoulder line there. But I would think at this point, you want to have that line a little bit more, or that club face, a little bit more parallel with what that left arm is doing. What this means is that as he gets down into his downswing here, the golf, the face of the club really stays open. So what does he have to do? Well, you're not going to be able to hit a straight ball consistently from this position. It does get a little steep in the downswing here also. But what we're going to do is as he kind of gets through impact here, I want you to notice what happens with his hands. He's really got to start to flip them over. You see how that right wrist in particular gets into a very, very bent position. That's not really good for that wrist joint. Now, he's not somebody that's been injured as far as I know, in the past or had wrist injuries. But with that open club face, what it's going to do is you've got to do that and you've got to flip your hands through here to consistently work the ball either right to left or left to right. So Cameron Davis is going to have a very, very hard time hitting an actual straight shot. But a lot of these guys on tour, again, they work the ball one way or another. Cameron's issue comes in when he starts flipping too much and that club face gets too open in the backswing. We've seen him hit some really errant shots off to the right side or even start balls off to the right and have them hook really far to the left based on what's happening with the flip here. So again, I'm sure Cameron Davis is something in working on and is in this, with his instructors. He's been on the PGA Tour for a few years. I'm sure we're going to hear more from him as this season goes along. I would just like to see this club face in a little bit better position at the top of the swing help him get a little bit more consistent in his overall game.